My name is Wangeshi Nderito. I bless the Lord to be given uh, for this opportunity that I've been given to share the word of God. First of all, I thank the Lord and the King of Kings. I was not deserving for sure, but his mercies. Someone say his mercies, but his mercies. I also want to thank the leadership of the church uh, uh, led by our senior pastor, who is also a bishop, Bishop Jimmy Kimani. And Mamalis, you want to celebrate them in absentia, please? Celebrate, celebrate those graces in Jesus' name. I also want to celebrate the Lord and to thank the Lord for our pastors, Pastor Brian, Pastor Beatrice, uh, Pastor Richard, and all the other pastors that are... We, hasn't the Lord done as well? You saw we have new pastors? Yes, we want to celebrate them in absentia as well. May the Lord do them well and give them the grace to serve him in faithfulness and also fruitfulness. In Jesus' name, amen. And so today, uh, our working topic is King Uzziah must die. King Uzziah, tell your neighbor, King Uzziah must die. No, tell the other neighbor, mbaya nakako na imani kidogo. King Uzziah must? Die. King Uzziah must die. King Uzziah must die. Please give me Isaiah chapter 6 verse 1. Isaiah chapter 6 verse 1. And we will read together. One, two, three, go. In the... Allah. Yeah. One, two, three, go. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord sitting upon a throne high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. I want you to understand the first part. No, let's just stick to verse 1. Oh, yes. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord. King Uzziah must die if someone must see the Lord. No, you've gotten the understanding that a King Uzziah must die. No, you understand. How many want to see the Lord? Uh -huh. King Uzziah must? Tell your neighbor, King Uzziah must die. Great. So in the book of 2 Chronicles chapter 26 is where we find a story of this King Uzziah that we are talking about. Uzziah, Uzziah, tomato, tomato, potato, potato. So King Uzziah for me. King Uzziah for you? <laughs> King Uzziah for me. <laughs> All right. And so we get to understand the story of King Uzziah. Maybe you can give me, uh, yes, give it, give it to me up to verse 6 or verse Verse 4 there about, and then we'll continue. Then all the people of Judah took Uzziah, who was 16 years old, and made him king in the room of his father Amaziah. So we are being told that King Uzziah began his leadership as king when he was only what? 16 years. Hapa Kenya unapewa idi ukiwa? But yeah, alianza akiwa wapi? 16. And then we are told that and, and they made him king just in verse 1. They made him king in the room of his father Amaziah. Meaning it was his father that was supposed to be given that seat. But mm -mm, they decided to give as, uh, uh, King Uzziah. There's something that stood out with him and they had to leave their father. Bona Sifiwe. And he built and he restored and all those things happened. Verse 3. 16 years old Uzziah or Uzziah when he began to reign and he reigned for 52 years. So from 16 years plus 52, mathematicians, math, math is nothing, 68. He reigned until he was 68 because he ruled for 52 years. There's something that uh, a friend of mine likes telling me. There's something we call the staying power. You cannot ignore someone who, who has stayed. My friend, you cannot ignore Museveni. He may not be everything you want him to, but you cannot ignore him. Staying power. There's something he knows that those other people don't know. Staying. You cannot afford to talk about presidents in this country if you don't talk about, when you don't, talk, I mean, if you don't talk about Moi. It's not, it's not joke. Staying. 
There is something he knew around that time before wakwe wajanja kwa kamshinda. There is something that is called the staying. And so King Uzziah cannot be ignored. 52 years. And he took it when he was 16. I don't even know if he really even knew what was going to happen. Akashinda ata babake. Staying. Let's go on. And he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord. I told you, he, he knew something that others didn't know. He knew that he could do right in the sight of the Lord. But according to all that his father Amaziah had done. Again, they compare him with the dad. Not really, not because probably he did things that were all good. Labda kukua mpoa sana. Venye mpendi mseve ni sana na mkupenda mwoi sana. You know. But he did right in the sight of the Lord. That's what the Bible says. And so we cannot afford to ignore King Uzziah. But I keep wondering why? Why after his death did Isaiah say then he saw the Lord? It was after his death that Isaiah said he saw the Lord. And if you continue reading uh, that book, if you go to verse 5, it says, And he sought God in the days of Zechariah. And who had understanding in the visions of God. And as long as he sought the Lord, God made him. He was getting something correct. He knew for you to stay. You must sought. Ah, do we have people who sought the Lord? Can you, can you raise your hand if you sought the Lord? You usually seek the Lord. Mm. Are you King Hosea? This was a great man. Anyway, let's go on. But he sought the Lord even in the days of Zechariah. And for as long as he sought the Lord, the Bible says he prospered. Meaning he had favor even with God. Born as if you were. And if you continue reading the chapter, you will see that the Lord kept giving him victory over other people. The Philistines, the Ammonites, the Melnites, all of those ones. God gave him victory. Because there was something right with him. He always sought the Lord. The Bible says that he would even bring down walls and build cities. Now let me tell you how important walls were in those days of the Bible. Cities were being, so you, you, know the, you know the wall of Jericho? It means that was a great city that had a great wall. So when you're told someone used to bring down walls, it means he used to bring down cities. Walls showed that there was protection and that area was untouchable by enemies. But this guy was so great that he would even bring down walls. The Bible also says that he would even build cities, meaning he would bring down walls and also create walls. Because a city, lazima inge kuwa na wall. Buona sifiwe. The Bible also says that he built towers in the desert. Wewe unajoku build tower kwa desert wewe. But this guy was so great that he would even build towers in the desert. And so I get to wonder, why would Isaiah say that when King Uzziah died, he saw the Lord? Because this guy was great. The Bible says that he dug many wells. Mm. He dug many wells. He had a lot of livestock. Things were working out for him. If you continue reading the text, you'll realize that he had fighting men in thousands. And he also had an army. Also in, of, of, an army of thousands of soldiers. So um to akona fighting men, akona army, ataskwanelewa, okay, what was going on here? But this man had a lot of things and a lot of wealth. He had livestock, livestock. He had his own equipment to fight. Yeah, yeah, also just work here. I have. Since you know, just as in it, you know, as you know, you know, to consult with different countries when I could patia vitu. But this guy used to make his own uh, armors for war. You know, armory or what is that? But he had a lot of weapons for war. This guy was a great guy. And so I could not understand why Isaiah would say that when King Uzziah died, he saw the Lord. And all his, in, in all his greatness, the Bible says in verse 16, and we will read together. One, two, three. But when he was strong, his heart was lifted up to destruction. For he transgressed against the Lord his God, and went into the temple of the Lord to burn incense upon the altar. Let me take you back. 
that it got to a point that he was so strong. In fact, you do not know. The Bible says that he was so great that his fame reached the entrance of Egypt. Umse alikuwa mnoma mpaka mzi na sikia mtu akisema huko media mzi mpaka anajulikana the entrance of Egypt. Unajua pia Egypt wako wachache. Hello. But pia Egypt wanamtambua. Bwana asifiwe. <laughs> but he forgot that there is a God who's the king of kings. Anyway, the Bible says that when he became strong, his heart was lifted. Sema makosa. Mako. Ambia jirani wako makosha. Watu wa DJ Afro makosha. <laughs> Anakuingiria. <laughs> makosha. <laughs> So the Bible says he became strong and his heart was lifted. He forgot the Bible says be humble and the Lord shall lift you up. My friend, usikubali kiburi kuingie kichwa ifure, your crown won't fit. When you're the king, you have a crown. But kiburi kikuingia the crown won't fit. Kichwa kichwa itakuwa imekuwa kubwa. Ambia jirani yako chunga chunga the crown needs to fit. The crown needs to fit. Stay humble. The crown needs to fit. Because when you, are, when you exalt yourself, your crown won't fit. It will fall off. So in verse 16, it says, we can go back, that when he was strong, his, his heart was lifted up to destruction. For he, trans, he transgressed against the Lord his God and went into the temple of the Lord to burn incense upon the altar of incense. He kept doing things right. <laughs> but he got to a place, kiburi kamuingia, and the crown could no longer fit. Bona sifiwe. You see, the Bible says that we are created in the likeness of God. Bona sifiwe. Fearfully and wonderfully made. Created in the image of God. Isn't that what the Bible says? But let it not get into us. And cause us to think that we can be God or we can be him. We are created just in the likeness. We look like him, but we are not him. The Bible says we have been given dominion. We rule over the fish of the sea, birds of the air, everything. We have dominion, but we are still not God. He remains to be God all by himself. I mean, there are attributes about God that you and I cannot do nothing about. That you and I can never ever be. When, the, when we are told that God is omnipresent, he can be everywhere all the time. Where can you be everywhere all the time? My friend, God is God. The things he can do, you cannot. At the outermost parts of the earth, he's omnipresent. We can't be God. We are just created in his likeness, but we can't be him. The Bible says, or we are also told, that God is omnipotent. God is all-powerful, as in mambo ambayo anafanya, my friend. Where's you kafanya? We sing that song, unafanya mambo ambayo. Mwanadamu ambayo, aizi akafanya nini? Where? Doctors can only give you medicine and trust that it will work, but only God can heal. That is why we come to a point of surrender and begin to heal, to pray for the sick. Because there's nothing much we can do. Only God is omnipotent, all-powerful. When we are told that God is omniscient, ha, tell your neighbor God is omniscient. That he's all-knowing. It is true and you cannot be all-knowing. You have to, <laughs> the Bible says, pray, call unto me so that I can show you great and unsearchable things. All knowing. And it got to a place, a place the psalmist said, I, even the day I was being secretly woven in my mother's womb, you saw me, you knew me. You had even written a book about me and the things I would do. Even his own mother could not even tell things that the psalmist would do. But only God, because he's omniscient. 
We may be created in his likeness, but we cannot be him. And even the psalmist continued to say, hey, where can I go to hide from you? That even if I went to the heavens, I would find you there. Even if I made my, my bed in the depths of hell, I would still find you there. What if I ran in the darkness? Day and night are all the same to you. Only God is God. And that's what this guy forgot. King Uzziah, he got to a place like Ajawa na Kiburi. His crown could no longer fit and he thought he could do things that God could do. You see, it may not have been a very great job to burn incense, but for as long as God had said it was going to be, it was supposed to be done by the priest, my friend, even if you are the king, the king of those priests, you must abide to God's instructions. Only God is, only God is God. Bonus, if you are saying only God is God, only God is God. He's the one who decides when the sun will rise and when the sun will set. Can I tell you something? Even the devil has to wait for him to decide when it will rise and when it will set. And say, Manga, ah, uyu tutamuata kusiku. Lazima ngoje the king of kings of kishe usiku. He is God. Even the devil himself has to bow. And so what King Uzziah forgot is that there are boundaries. There are boundaries and there are things that only God can do. And things went on and things went on and this guy did what he wasn't supposed to do. And now the Bible says, maybe you can give us verse 17 if you can. But anyway, let me just summarize that part. The Bible says that immediately he did those things. He was struck with leprosy. The great guy. Ange jiponya. Hapo ndo alijua sa God ni God. Kajua kichwa imefura. When he had become strong, his heart was lifted. Instead of him lifting the king of kings, he lifted his heart. And that was the beginning of his destruction. Bona sifiwe. And so now we go back to Isaiah 6.1. And now Isaiah is saying that in the year that King Uzziah died, I saw, someone say, I saw the Lord. I saw the Lord. And King was, I mean, Isaiah was really discouraged. He was disillusioned. He could not understand. I mean, God, this great guy, Mbaka Egyptians wana mtambua. And as I die, I mungu atawewe. Ah, this guy was too great, Bana. And so he got discouraged. He wondered how, how someone could start so triumphantly and end up so tragically. Ulianza na roho kamaliza na mwili. Ulianza na roho. Ulianza na roho. Umemalizia. Imba, 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 minguni ijue inajua. Ulianza na roho. Ulianza na roho. Unasikia venyo unajua. <laughs> Kwa nini? <laughs> you know? And Isaiah could not understand how someone could start so triumphantly and end up so tragically in life. And this is only to mean that, some, that to begin well is not enough. To begin well is not enough. The Bible says we are in a race. And the race is not to the swift. You may run too fast and die of, and die of speed. The race is not to the swift. It is for those who keep running and checking with the Holy Spirit. Tuko poor Holy Spirit. Tuko saa Holy Spirit. Hii relationship yangu ni poor. Venye naomba na kufuraisha. Venye natembea na nafuraisha. The race. A good athlete has a watch. Or a timer to help them keep up with the pace. And they keep looking behind to see where the, the competitors are. Because they have to win. Bonus if you But Christian race, we are told it's not to the swift. Symbioyako, speed kills. Bonus if you Do you have representatives of NTSA? You should pay me. Speed kills. But those who run with precision and with understanding of the kind of race that they are running are those that finish well. 
So you may begin well and not necessarily end up well, Bwana Sifire. You have to keep running and asking the Holy Spirit to go to the Holy Spirit. relationship yangu iko sawa. Venye naomba squeeze iko sawa. Ama tangu inuliwe kichwa ilifura crown ikakata kufit. Bwana Sifire, there is danger. And so King Uzi, I mean, uh, Isaiah could not understand. But something happened. That's what makes me glad. That while he was wondering, while he was disillusioned and so discouraged. On that day is the day he saw the Lord. When King Uzziah died, the Bible says that Isaiah saw the Lord. And it says, sitting on a throne high and lifted up. And the train of his robe filled the temple. You see, they had, they had esteemed King Uzziah so much that even prophets like Azawa walikuwa wamesahau. He is the Lord God, strong and mighty. Wachana na Uzziah. As in, he was so great, mbaka prophets walikuwa na mtambua. And it looked like Isaiah had forgotten who is the Lord God, strong and mighty. But it is after King Uzziah died that Isaiah began to see the Lord in his beauty and splendor, sitting on the throne with his robe crowned with glory and honor. Before then, all he could see was King Uzziah's glory and honor. And so, it got to a place, it's, I, I want to imagine it's like something fell off his eyes, like a scale. You know something happens when the scale falls off from your eyes. Unaweza kuona ai inaonekana huo mtu si mpo huo mtu anafanyangani anguke huo mtu ananituanga kwa wema wa Bwana huo mtu huo mtu ni beba hapa anazi But those things you cannot realize when you're still blinded King Uzziah must die For as long as you're exalting a King Uzziah in your life my friend you will not see his glory You will keep wallowing in poverty struggling with those things until you allow King Uzziah to die I don't know what King Uzziah it is that you have in your life. I don't know if it's that job. Because you're the boss, you think you're untouchable. My friend, you need to keep your head small for your crown to fit. Bonus if you were. I don't know what King Uzziah it is that you are dealing with. And sometimes you adore King Uzziah without knowing. I don't think Isaiah knew. It is after his death that he did not have any other help or any other king he could look up to that he saw the Lord. You must allow that King Uzziah in your life to die. Maybe your King Uzziah is money. My name is Wangeshi. Wangeshi Nderitu. Nakama wesi pesa. Always in pear stress. If you know, you know. And if you don't, forget about. My name is Chira, Brian Chira. Now come here, see, Pesa. Where's in the pair? Ah, Simon, I draw me no jewel. Now come here, see, Pesa. Where's in the funny nini? Where's in the pair stress? So my name is Wangeshi. Wangeshi in the report. Wangeshi in the report. Now come see, where's in Pesa? Where's in the pair stress? Maybe your king Uzziah is money. You can do anything and everything to get that money. Wewe ukishikwa na karao wa traffic, heri umchote sotano because manze, biz, 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 biz. Katikati ya wiki hapa tumeshikwa mahali na hapa wewe. Na jiongelesha hata mimi. We, kika umana. Na wambia nganoza mayai. Wai, kandi kwa contravening of insurance. Because... Kuna mayai kwa gari. Bwana wasifiwe. <laughs> na sasa ocha ni kwambe ni mechelewa kufika wapi. Mkutano ya bosi. Sasa na uvala puko kama nani. Ivi hivi. Kai mungu wangu. Ni sema kusimamia mbele ya mtu kijana ya green. Hamevaa koti ya green. Nambia sasa. Shoka. Wee. Akuma. Iyo ni maya umebeba kwa gari. Atarada, uyu hata makose. Oi, uyu uyu hata contraving of insurance. Insurance inasema nini? Private car. Hey, nai mayai? Nai mayai? Hey, contraving of insurance. Oi, makose ka. Oi. Meeting ilikuwa 8 a.m. 
Na sayo ilikuwa ka 755. No no ofisi ndio hii. Askari ndio hiyo. Mayai ni hii. Niache gari ninge ofisi. Wewe kao wesi pesa. Wesi nipe ya nini? Unazanguka mtihani wewe. Karibu ni mchore za macho wewe. Kilgo and you know I was not just meeting just my kawaida boss. My boss was unwell. So I was the one who was supposed to stand in for her in that big meeting. <laughs> so I don't know what your king Uzia is. But anyway, nimeshikwa na hata ajali. Ame unaenda hapa. Hiyo ndio ofisi hiyo inukaka hapa. Mkutano wacha ukose. Aya. Contravening of insurance. Sijui nini? He. Nikasema sasa watu wanafanyanga nini? Lakini nikajipea nguvu nimeokoka. Nambia mimi ofisa na ubiringi neno. Na mimi siwezi fanya vitu ambavyo siambia ngi watu. Bwana asifiwe hata anambia uko bwana asifiwe katikati. Ana shindo huni nani? Anambia wewe madama tu uko na kile nyinge hebu songa hapa. <laughs> the mona songa 759. Aya. Aya kwambie nilimwajia gari. Nifike kwanza wanio. <laughs> Yeah. Na jaribu eh, you know I started reasoning with him. Nani amekwambia hii mayai inauza? Okay, what makes you think hii mayai inaenda kuuza? Hii mayai inaweza kuwa ni yangu, but is in that the truth? Inaweza kuwa ni yangu ya hao yangu. Mimi labda kwetu napikanga keki na kuna wageni wanakuja weekend na have kupika mayai mingi na mayai mob. Ananiambia ah <laughs> Hii yote. <laughs> Na mwambia, you have to change your thinking sir. Because hii mayai na amesema anaenda kuuza. Wewe ndio umekaa ukajiambia that is the hiyo ndio makosa uko nayo. Anasema, "Eh, hey, madam uko na mama, songa nishike mwenzako hapa." But anyways, juu mbona mnacheka? Nani alikuwa amewa nani nyinyi ndo nimewaambia alikuwa anaenda kuuza. Nani aliwa nani alimwambia yeye? Na sikuwa nimemuzia. Wewe wacha. You cannot argue like that in a court of law. Nani alikuwa amemwambia anaenda kuuza? Labda kwangu watu consume tray kumi a day. Yeah. Nani ana wewe unajua naishi na nani kwangu watu wangapi? Labda tunatumia 10 trays a day guys. So I I think when you listen na argue na hivyo kwa na aya. Huyu tukienda kwa ebuka hapa madam. Nilibidi niache gari. Oh boss I'm so late. What is going on with you Christine? Why? Mimi to say the truth if you just looked down the, the, the opportunity through your window you'll see that red car. Wamenishika nikikuja ofisi and I was overlapping so that I would not miss. I stuck pay ajue mambo ya mayai. Tasema asifanye kazi yake ndio kazi yangu ni kuza mayai. Things were thick. Things were thick every day. I was very careful with my words. Nisijaribu kuchoma. Naweza sema hapa nichome hapa. Naweza sema huko kwa askari nichome huko. Things. Pia staki huo askari aonge na mdosi wangu. Kwa sababu atamwambia huyu sijamshikia ni nipe overlapping. Kuna mayai. It was thick. Yeah. Lakini mnaniona hapa nikiwahubiria. <laughs> oh, mna record, a record ya second service. Waachana na yeye. <laughs> Aya. <laughs> Wewe nyisi wapo. Wewe msichome. Nimengengana huko kwa streets nikatoke hapa. Yo kidding. Ati tuko live. <laughs> Honestly, we menishtua ya ukweli. Okay, my boss, forgive me. Ni, <laughs> ni ya kupika keki kwa hao. Okay, God, I'm on the altar. Guys, let's stop this joke. It's no good. Because it is my boss, Monya Linitoa. Called, made a few calls here and there, here and there, and there. And there. I was told, Madam, kujia gari. Woo! Who's laughing now? <laughs> Wally to the row. Aha, aha, aha. Who's laughing now? Bas. Wamemalizia ambao wanajua. So I don't know what King Uzia it is that you've exalted in your life. Wewe uwezi shikuwa na karo kwa se kumwacheza macho. 
Ile siku atakupata hapo kuhubiri atafaint. Tunashindwa ni roho ameingia askari. Na wewe ndo unajua ndo una was officer was wa police at least miss kuachota. At least niko na ushuhuda. But much much later ni litafuta wao jamaa. <laughs> Nikamba ya to lunch. Nikamba aki thank you. Thank you for just acting so swift and fast. Kwa sababu leo ninahubiri hata watu wa Mungu hapa nikumaanisha siku shi. So a good marriage is good. A good wife is good. A good husband is good. A good business is good. Man is good. The Bible says it answereth all things. But if it takes the place of God, my friend, nothing is worth missing heaven. If it is taking your place for Jesus, it's about that king. It's about, it's about time that king Uzziah died. Some of you, umebeba wa relative wako, anti yako ndiyo alikutesa sana. But umebeba sana, unforgiveness. Wewe, Don't let your auntie cause you to miss heaven. Heaven is too great, greater than your auntie. Can you release them? I don't know about you, but the psalmist says in the in the book of Psalms 55:20-23, 20 to 23, that he had this great friend. <laughs> he says, "But I was betrayed with a, by a friend whom I loved so much, whom I gave a helping hand. In fact, his words were smoother than butter." Where at us Dani za kozi mefika hapo? smoother than butter alikuwa mzuri but that friend betrayed him but still release them because it's not worth missing heaven king uzia must die for you to see the lord for as long as your auntie umembeba we you will not see him in his beauty and splendor crowned with glory and honor seated upon the throne you will not even realize his lordship like isaiah did not even realize until King Uzziah, uh, I think until King Uzziah died. And so where we are, you know, I love God. God is very strategic and methodical. methodical. That's what we keep saying. Sindio? You remember Moses. Moses, by destiny, or just, he found himself living in, in Pharaoh's home. In fact, people thought, ni wahuko. But he knew he was an Israelite. But for as long as he was living in Pharaoh's house, he could not be used by the Lord. For as long as you still are keeping some relationship, for as long as you have some King Uzziah as your relationship, you cannot even be used of the Lord. You cannot even see the Lord. And let me tell you, God, God is so strategic. Moses living in Pharaoh's house was part of God's plan. God knew that this guy had an assignment. He had to save what he many years to come. But he had to leave huko, kwanza ajue strategy zao, ajue rulership yao, akule na wao, ajue chakula yao, ajue yo territory yao. But it had to get to a time that he had to allow that good life to die for him to see the Lord. So some of those relationships that you're keeping, when the Bible says you cannot be unequally yoked, my friend, you will never experience God. You will never get into your place of assignment if you're still entertaining some King Uzziah. If Moses had, done, had not left that place, he would not have been used. For as long as he was dining and whining with Pharaoh, he was still compromised. It had to get to a place at okay. And you know, he tried to force his life, his, himself, to, to, to the Israelites. Akona, akona kijana mflani wa Israelite, anateswa na Egyptian, akamuwa. Ju na jaribu kuwa show me nimse, yule. Eh? But still, hata kama ni ya likuwa kwe the leader of the people. For as long as he was dining and whining with Pharaoh, he was still not going to be used of the Lord. For as long as you're still keeping that relationship with that Mubaba, forget about your kingdom marriage. King Uzziah must die. It's the word of God. It's based on principles. If it says King Uzziah must die for you to see the Lord, King Uzziah must. You see, Jesus, when he had gone to pray and fast for 40 days, ujue shetani ananga kichwa poa, anate simbaka Jesus. Aki, ata si alafatu wachie, bada. Yesu, you know. So Jesus, and you imagine after praying and fasting, do a kona power, rara bozeka. Yani, nindimi tu. I love what we pick up. I love what we pick up. Mambo, we talk a kumba. We go nanja. Zukula, nini. Is it my way to badilishen? Aya, we basi nimnoma, we basi siwa mawe. 
basi si unaona hizi vitu basi si ni adon kupatia hizi kingdom wewe si wa mkate wewe si waligia mkate basi si wewe basi uni 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 worship ni kupatia hizi vitu oh can i bring it to your attention that worship is so important even the devil wants it So when we tell you to worship here no unabudu hivi ni kama wewe ukiona watu wakilala hapa wewe wewe kataa kulala wewe wewe hata kubondeka even the devil worship is a That's why God says I created you that you may declare my praises and that you may worship me. And that is why the devil tells Jesus, I will give you all these things if you only you bow down and worship me because worship is no cheap thing. And so Jesus has come down from praying and meets the devil. Hmm? And is tempted. But the Bible says that He overcame him by the word of God and he passed that test. And it is after he passed that test that he began to preach. He got into another level of a glory, another level of assignment and he started even recruiting disciples to come so that they would begin their job. Hata Yesu alipitia test ndo aweze kuqualify kwa hiyo assignment. Okay. Would he, would he even have gotten authority over the demons? How would you worship the master of demons and have authority over those demons? He had to pass that test for him to enter that level of his assignment and he began to preach. Some of you, you keep going through those tests but you don't want to go out of that class. Utaki kugraduate. Kila siku unanguko unasema grace. Unanguko unasema grace. Unanguko unasema grace. Una, Ndiyo kuna grace. But you will never be released into your area of assignment. You have keep moving and allow those kings years to die you have to do well in that class and be upgraded and be graduated into your next level of anointing for as long as you keep falling in that class keep repeating in that class you will remain in the same level king uzia must die maybe those tests that you're going through they are just to make you They are just to test you because God wants to look if you are now ready for your assignment. But for as long as you keep allowing yourself to fall, no, no, say, grace, grace, grace. Grace, yes, because God is a God of his word. But you will remain in the same level. While other people are worshipping and worshipping internationally, Walter Bakiapo to Shiloh, kwa sababu you keep failing the test. God is a father and a friend, but my friend, if you know time is running, you need to move with your assignment. Allow King Uzziah to die. I don't know what your King Uzziah is. I don't know if it's that person that you esteem so highly. Unakumbuka wale watu wakichomeka na kitu wasema, "Oi mami, mami, mami." Akigongwa mami, mami, mami. Kila kitu ni mami. Hata si Jesus. Kwa sababu mami ni mami yani. Unasikia watu hii wakisema, "Baba yangu ni anenda ngajima, atachapa we na baba yako." Na sio wewe tu, we hata na baba yako. Because to them, that's the hero they know. But for as long as all, all you run to is your mother and father, you don't know the king of kings, my friend. It's about time. All you remain in the same place and miss out on your assignment. King Uzziah must die for you to see the Lord. Seated upon the throne. Exalted forever. Oh, you're exalting King Uzziah, whose fame only goes until the entrance of Egypt. God's fame is from generation to generation. What channel king Uza? He only feels good at the moment. Even when you're doing kwa giza mkiwa wawili, it feels good for five minutes. After hapo na saa unaanza guilt or oh, grace, grace, grace God. Mercy, mercy Jesus, mercy. Mercy stamp gate and mercy. Kesho you will remain in the same class. You will not grow. Because the race is not to the swift or battle to the strong, but to those who run with the Holy Spirit, those who keep checking with him, they know that the battle must be won. And the Lord wants to go to battle with people who are prepared. King Uzziah must die. King Uzziah, I want, to just, I want you to just rise on your feet. Even as we conclude today, tell the Lord, 
I want to know my King Uziah. The Bible says when light comes, darkness cannot overcome it. Because you need that light to realize what your King Uziah is to be, for you to begin to release them. Light, when light comes, scales fall off your eyes. And you realize that you've entered your place of power and your place of assignment. Where they called you by your problem, blind Bartimaeus, they begin to say, this is the man with the visions, building cities for Christ. Where they used to identify you as the woman with the issue of blood, they begin to say, this is the person with the grace of healing. Nikim Karibiaivi, Napona. But for you to graduate to a next level of assignment, you must address your King Uziah. For you, if they, they've always identified you as the barren Sarah, it's about time they call you the mother of nations. But you must allow King Uziah to die. It just doesn't come easy. The cross is a place of exchange. You exchange your King Uziah with your freedom. You exchange your King Uziah with your assignment. That which you have exalted so much, it's about time you release it. That unforgiveness, you keep carrying them all year. Please ask the Lord to help you forgive them. For you to enter into your kingdom marriage, you must stop those calls that you make and those debts that you go for. King Uziah must die. You cannot be entrusted with a kingdom marriage if you're still doing the wrong things. Then you have no authority over those demons if you keep bowing to the master of the demons. So if I were you, just tell the Lord, open my eyes that I may begin to see what King Uzziah it is that I've exalted in my life. Because it's about, I see, it's about time I see you highly lifted up, seated on your throne with beauty and splendor, crowned with glory and honor. It's about time I enter into my place of assignment. It's about time. God, King Uzziah must die in this place. Father, we are sorry for exalting the government so much that we have forgotten that the governments are on your shoulders. Forgive us, Lord, for all the times we've exalted things that we have thought so great in our lives, yet nothing can surpass you. We are sorry, Lord, for exalting the things of the earth, yet the earth and everything in it belongs to you, so we must bow to receive it. Father, remind us that heaven and earth passes away. Only your word shall remain and King Uzziah will also pass away and your word only shall remain. Father, begin to reveal the King Uzziahs of our lives. Things we have exalted, my Father, beyond our knowledge. Sometimes we do not know. Isaiah did not realize that he had exalted King Uzziah. Father, whatever it is that I've exalted above your name, may it bow. Because for a seed to grow, it must die for it to multiply in the name of Jesus. I must die to self daily because you're the resurrection and life. And even if I die, I begin to receive the eternal life. God began to release King Uzziah. Father, I pray the Lord my God, you shall reveal to each and every one of us the King Uzziah of our lives. Because it is until we release them shall we move into the next level of anointing. Shall we move into the next level of grace. Shall we move into the next level of assignment. Lord begin revealing King Uzziah in this place. If Lord there is any King Uzziah we've exalted on this altar. Today let those King Uzziah die because we must see you Lord. Lord I want to see you. I want to have an encounter with you. I want to move to the next level of my assignment. I want to reach to the place of your promises. But I know the cross is a place of exchange. I come to bring my King Uzziah that I may attain my freedom. Reveal your King Uzziah. We know King Uzziah is good. He may feel good. He may feel great. He is so exalted into the entrance, even, of, even into the entrance of Egypt. But only you reign forever and ever. Only your kingdom is forever and ever. Only your fame reaches generation to generation. Reveal to me, my King Uzziah, those things that I've exalted even with, without my knowledge. Release and reveal to us our King Uzziah. Father, we thank you because your word, well, your word is a two-edged sword. It cuts on both ends. 
It encourages, but also rebukes. It corrects, but also shows us where we are going wrong. But today we release ourselves to you. That even me, Lord, that I was speaking today, if there be any King Uzziah in my life, today I lay it all down at the foot of the cross of Jesus, that I may receive my freedom in the blood of the Lamb. I am tired of seeing King Uzziah because heaven and earth will pass away. King Uzziah will pass away, but only your word will remain. And those that move and run with precision, those that move and run at the race, watching you, my God and my Father, and looking up to you, those, my Father, that shall have their eyes open, only those shall see wonderful things. Allow me, Lord, to know what King Uzziah it is I have in my life. Sometimes those King Uzziahs are so dominant, that is so that it is it becomes so hard to release them. But I know that Lord, your grace abounds to all of us. Give us the grace, the grace to flee from evil, the grace to flee from King Uzziah, the grace to release King Uzziah. That Lord, we may be able to live again and see you. We thank you, Lamb of God, for the release of your word. And I thank you because from today you begin to show us things unsearchable. Things that we had not seen. We pray that Lord you shall release the grace for us. To release King Uzziah. We honor you Lord and we bless your name. And this we pray in the name of the Father. And even of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen.